Okay, so one question. How do you know how much space you've used on an on a drive? So right now I am going to go back to my computer and I can do that through this navigation pane by clicking on computer or if I close this whole window I can come here or I can come through here. So it, this, think of my computer as Grand Central Station. Every, everything that you connect, it, it, this is the start, this is the hub. So we come here to navigate to all our drives. Now we also have, you know, we have shortcuts over here. So that's like a shortcut to grandma's house. But if we didn't have these shortcuts, we come to computer as being the central hub to get to our drives. So here again is this drive. And here is showing you that uh, David has on this removable disk drive, because that's what it is. A little SD card is like a removable disk drive. He has 27.6 gigabytes free of 29. Now, when you bought it, it probably said a 30 gigabyte because they round it off, right? And this little picture is showing you there's just a little bit of blue. You have tons and tons of room. The other way you can see it, if you don't like this kind of picture for whatever reason, you can right click here, click properties, and I should get a little pie. Oh, there it is. Okay, so U space is the blue, and free space is the pink. Does that make sense? Elizabeth, you asked me this question this morning. How do you see how much space? Okay, so this way, or if you want the pie picture, go to the properties of your drive. Okay, the next uh, thing that we want to just go over one more time is transferring your photos. So I'm just going to go over the basic premise here. To transfer your photos, you need to open two windows. A window for your camera or your SD card and a window for the destination drive. And you know that that changes depending on what we're doing. We always know in here that we're going to our M drive. And for this assignment, we also have a folder called Linda 10 Steps for Better Pictures. So in today, that would be our folder where we're going. Okay, I would suggest uh, that you can use the snap feature to put the camera always on the left just because I've seen so much befuddlement and confusion that if you get in the habit of doing everything the same, it's going to help you. So we've got our camera, we're going to put on the left side of our window and we're going to put the destination folder on the right side of our window. And you know that, you know, if, when you hit the edge, that it sets you up to display your window on half the screen. That's what that snap thing is. I can't do snap on my monitor on the right side because I have two monitors up here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go and snap my camera window. And my camera window, of course, is here in my computer. And it's this one here. And I'm going to snap this on this side. And my pictures are going to be here. And I don't, this one can be a little smaller at this point. This one can be a little smaller. So you, you know, you're the boss. You, you can change this little display by dragging this line. Uh, to the place that you need it. The most recent folders are going to be down at the bottom. So we're just going to open the last folder here and we can see the pictures. Okay, now we need the destination window on the right. Okay, so 
I am going to move this and and a little known trick here is that all of you certainly at school and for Windows 7 they've put a little tiny icon over here called show desktop so that's a fa see how my icons are gone over here and I want to open a new window so if I show my desktop now I can get to my computer these ones you want to be on your M drive so I'm going to open my M drive and I and I'm just going to put it on half my screen and then I'll go and open my other window back up now I have a ton of folders here for demonstration I'm just going to go into junk and I'm going to pretend I'm doing your assignment Nancy 10 steps to better pictures and I'm going to open it right up so that when I bring them over I can visually see them land there are shortcuts that you can just you know right copy cop uh, copy and paste into places without ever seeing them but for beginners if you see them land you know that you've done it right so now I'm going to pretend that this is the picture that I want and again don't forget you have this views thing if I wanted to see all the pictures I can make them a little bit smaller here and this is the picture I want and I can drag and drop it here it's going to be a copy because it's programmed to be a copy when you are dragging files from a removable disk okay so there it is it doesn't disappear here now let's say that David I'm actually going to just delete this over here let's say that David needed this picture and this picture and you can see you click on it and then the other one isn't selected if you need to select out of a bunch and they're not beside each other I'm going to press and hold my control key on my keyboard and now I can pick a second one and you can see that they're both selected now so now I want to get them over here you know what the how the heck do I have my cursor on both and drag them over you don't you just bring one over and both of them will come okay so when I drop them here both of them are going to land there okay now I want to emphasize I'm over here I'm just gonna get rid of these I want to emphasize that when I pick them over here I hold my control key I get the ones that I want I release my control key okay the jobs finished you can see my hands there's no hands on my keyboard I just used it to do that specific selecting job and then when I pull this one over all three files are going to land in my destination folder okay I'm going to delete them if you know that you have you need all of these except for the last one if they're all and we consider these to be all contiguous and contiguous means beside each other or adjacent to each other I can click my first one that I want and my last one that I want and it's going to select everything in the middle so I'm going to do that one more time so I don't have my shift key down right now I click on the first one my hands have not touched the shift yet but I'm about to now press and hold it and it's holding right now I'm going to click this bottle here this one will be selected and everything in between now I lift my hands up because I've I've used my shift key for that function and now I pick one I drag them over and they all come with it I I believe that you can do it 
both ways, but I always just select the first one, shift select the last one, and it always works for me. Can you do it with the shift held down from the beginning? Yes, you can. So, so this is a detail that you don't have to remember. The bottom line is, if it doesn't work, you'll know it didn't work, right? And then, okay, so let me just come back and look at my notes here and just make sure that I think I've covered everything I wanted to. Okay, so we opened the window for the camera by going to my computer and we snapped it on the left. We opened the window that we wanted to go to, the folder. We double clicked the folder to open it right up. And then, and if necessary, you can use this little icon that's at near the top right hand corner to adjust your view. And then we drag the file from the camera window over to the destination window. We use the control key to pick out random files out of a bunch. Control A would select all the files and shift for contiguous files. And the last thing is before you uh, pull out your cables. So uh, I have David's SD card here. I need to come down to this icon. And I know people used to come and they'd see the message safely remove and they go, okay, I guess I'm good to go. But you need to click it once until and then you eject it and then you will see this message look see how it disappeared the window disappeared when you do that it is it is ensuring that no data is in the process of transferring in between them so it's and once in a while you'll actually get the message uh, that it's in use and sometimes I know darn well it's not in use. So that's a little bit of a, a hitch. And sometimes I close the window and then go back and click it and everything's good. Okay, is that clear or are there any questions to clarify any anything? Yes.